in 2022 i was diagnosed with um diabetes and uh, when i was diagnosed with this um, disease i realized that um it had not only caused me my leg but it has messed around with my vision it wasn't long ago when horace bryce shared his plight with us back in august he needed to undergo surgeries to repair both eyes that had been damaged by the effects of diabetes. Unable to perform his musical pieces for public audiences meant he had no income and no means of paying for those procedures. So Bryce made a public appeal for help and one week later, Dimitri Arguez, a sophomore at Belize High School, emptied his savings and donated all to Bryce's cause. I'd rather use my money to help somebody who really needs it than to slightly improve my life. I hope Mr. Bryce does well. I hope that his procedure goes good. Hopefully, he comes back with his vision. Today, Bryce underwent a second surgery at the Belize Council for the Visually Impaired. Dr. Zach Koshi, an ophthalmologist from Glasgow, performed the vitrectomy. You met Mr. Horace right down there. He's probably one of the most difficult operations I have done in my whole life. Wow. And for us to have been able to do that with the setup and the trained staff here, for me now, now proves that this can be done. There is this option for treatment in the form of laser treatment, which stabilizes the disease. And that has happened to a number of people. But unfortunately, there are people who will continue to progress and reach more difficult types of disease status, uh, which is when they require the kind of surgery that we are doing right now and that requires a lot of specialist equipment. Bryce's surgery today came one week after his return from Guatemala where he had the first surgery done with the funds that Arguez provided. He told us how it went. Pretty much is the same procedure that they did in Guatemala they did here. This one was a little bit advanced on my right eye because they had to do three procedures on this right eye. You know, they attached the retina back and they took out the blood and also the cataract. So for me, this one is a little bit more advanced than the one in Guatemala. The one in Guatemala on my left eye was to remove the blood that was um, overpowering the vision. So for me, it was an uh, experience in Guatemala as well. You know, so I am pretty much okay with everything that happened here today. Bryce will take a month to recuperate and hopes that he'll be able to work thereafter. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.